Brad getting ready right now for a four-round middleweight bout. Dorian Beaupierre, he hails out of New York right here. Steve, only one pro fight. He's 1-0, and one knockout. Now, interestingly enough, though, he went down to Mississippi for it. He got himself <laughs> suspended, according to our sheet, after knocking the guy out in two rounds. All I can think about is he might have sustained a small cut or something. It's the only thing. I mean, a two-round fight, he didn't take punishment. Sometimes they'll suspend you for taking a lot of punishment. Obviously, he didn't get a two-round win. All right, and making his way to the ring right now is his opponent, Willie Cruz, who comes out of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Let's see where Willie is. Trying to pick him up here. He's coming in tonight with a 500 record, Steve, in an interesting situation with Willie Cruz. 3-3-0 three, three oh with two knockouts, but he lost his first two out of three pro fights, so seems to be improving somewhat. Really a junior middleweight. Bo Pierre fought a middleweight, so Bo Pierre might be the bigger fighter. We'll see uh, the weight in at the same exact weight. All right, but we're going to find out a little bit more about those weights from our ring out to the magnificent Mark Vero. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents this contest four rounds in the middleweight division. Your referee for this event is Joe Santarpia. Introducing first in the red corner to my left, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim and weighing in at 156 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in one professional bout. That win coming by way of knockout. He hails from Rahway, New Jersey, a former two-time New Jersey Golden Glove and two-time ABF champion, introducing Dorian Beaupierre. Beaupierre, his opponent, in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the white accessories. He weighs in also at 156 and three quarter pounds. His professional record is dead even at three victories, three defeats, with two wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the Bronx, introducing Willie Cruz. Cruz, four rounds, middleweights. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. I want to go to clean fight. When I say break, you both to step back and break clean. Are there any questions? Shake hands now, and God bless you both. All right, Willie Cruz now residing in the Bronx, originally out of San Juan. Steve, we were talking about him improving on his record, and a big part for the improvement might be the layoff from 1993 to 99. Six years off. Yeah, he's, he's, he's only 28 years old. You would think a fighter who's had six years off would be older than 28, but I'll tell you, he's in with a two-time Golden Glove champ from New Jersey in Beaupierre, so this could be uh, out of Willie Cruz's depth. Let's see. Made his pro debut, Cruz did, in 1973. Lost those two fights, so if this, you want to look at the second coming of Willie Cruz, he's really three and one. Both fighters, good punching power, two knockouts in the three wins for Cruz, one KO for Dorian Beaupierre. It's a schedule for four. Nice double jab right now by Cruz. That's it. Followed by a good right, and uh, Cruz taking the fight right now to Bo Pierre. That's it. That's it. Quicker. Cruz certainly the busier at this point, Steve. Surprising. Yeah, uh, one twos from Cruz. Both fighters throwing straight punches. Let's see what happens when one of them throws a hook. Very fast first minute here in round number one for Willie Cruz. And finally, a right hand lead comes from Beau Pierre. Go! Let him taste it! That's it! That was a classy counter punch, left uppercut there by Beau Pierre. Nice looking punch. See, of course, Beau Pierre holding a second round knockout in his only fight, the pro debut. Think he's a bit of a hit on doing something like that when you start off that way? 
Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Although he's fighting a guy right now that's giving him a little bit of movement. And it's very hard to hit to the body, especially from long range against the mover. Bruce continues to dominate with that jab. Started the hook off it, thought better of it. Little under a minute to go in this first round of the schedule for four. Beaupierre opens up again with that right hand, now getting inside to work the body a little bit on Cruz. Best punch so far, that right hand counter. Again, right hand lead from Beaupierre. That's it. The close round, Arnie, hard to score. Well, certainly, I think the first two minutes going to Willie Cruz, but it looks like Beaupierre starting to figure him out a little bit here near the end of the first. Of course, in a four-round fight, you do not have the luxury of feeling your opponent out. You drop that first round, you have to win all three remaining rounds to win the fight. OPS starting to open up a little bit now. Can he steal it near the end? Cruz slowing down considerably after a very good first two minutes. Is it enough, though, to let Beaupierre back into the fight? Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Round number two of a scheduled four-rounder. These are middleweights. Darian Beaupierre, black and gold. Solid black for Willie Cruz. Sort of a seesaw first round with Willie Cruz coming out very fast for the first two minutes, but Darian Beaupierre taking control with those counter rights, Steve. Seems pretty clear what Beaupierre was told in between rounds. Jab, out jab him. Don't let Cruz out jab you. So far, two, three really good, strong Beaupierre jabs in the first 20 seconds. And now he's putting that right hand behind it instead of throwing the right hand lead. He's using the jab to set up his right. One thing both guys are doing, Arnie, is they're changing angles a lot. You know, Cruz is moving to his left now. He was moving to his right. Anytime a fighter switches up and moves both ways, it's that much harder for him to get hit. And uh, same thing for Beaupierre. He's moving pretty well, too. They're both keeping their hands up, so it's hard for each guy to hit the other. Now it's Cruz with the right hand lead. It looks like the heads came together a little bit. Definitely, and Beaupierre got the worst of that butt. Unintentional butt. Willie Cruz starting to open up a little bit, but doesn't seem to be putting his body behind those hooks, Steve. Arm no, punches. Yeah, that exchange, neither guy had good leverage. Come on. Come on. now showing us some things we didn't see in the first round. Nice hook to the body. Continues to use that jab. But one jab's not going to do it. I think these guys are pretty polished for four-round fighters, aren't they? I mean, you know, they're not blowing each other away or anything. The exchanges are minimal, but they both have the look of pretty classy boxers for four-round fighters. Beaupierre, of course, Golden Glove champion. Only in his second pro fight. First fight, a two-round knockout of Rodney Weston back in January of this year. First start of 2001 for Willie Cruz. His last fight coming on December 5th. He knocked out Judson Washington in one round down in Delaware. Both fighters then coming off KO wins. Not a lot of body punching, Arnie. You remember more than three, four body shots landed this fight? No, and Beau Pierre threw, he, he seemed to really have a nice left hook to the body, which he used earlier in this round. Nothing. Hasn't done it again. If you say that, he gives a nice right into the midsection of Willie Cruz. Nice left jab from Beaupierre, backs Cruz up. Coming near the end of round two, it's much slower output round for Willie Cruz. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's star boxing? 
Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Second half of the Schedule 4 rounder, and Dorian Volpe are seeming to take control of this fight. He's in the black and gold. Willie Cruz in solid black. Nobody's been on the floor thus far. And in the case of Volpe or Steve, I don't know how significant it is or not, but this is the furthest he's been in his pro career. He's never been past two rounds. In the amateurs these days, of course, they used to box three rounds. Now they box four two-minute rounds, which actually is less time than three three-minute rounds. So the amateurs uh, today... And that's what uh, Bo Pierre has been used to, four two-minute rounds. Not that much of an adjustment to fight a four-round fight in the pros, but as he moves up six, eight, and ten, that becomes a much bigger adjustment, of course. Well, as you pointed out earlier, Cruz continues to move in both directions nicely, but he's punch out put down dramatically from the first two minutes of the fight. Big right hand, and Cruz is hurt, Arnie. And he hasn't learned how to hold on. You can tell that right now. Trying to fight his way out of it. But you can see his legs definitely very shaky right now. Another big right hand drops in by Beau Pierre. Beau Pierre starting to land at will right now. As he senses Cruz not giving him anything back. And now Cruz finally trying to... Tie him up, Joe Santarpia separates the fighters. This is when Bopia should go to the body, especially if Cruz keeps his hands up. Oh! And talk about keeping your hands up, Cruz finds himself on the floor. The same punch that hurt him initially. Santarpia giving the mandatory eight count. Bopier. Got to worry about keeping his shorts on right now. He's losing his shorts. <laughs> Is he going to worry about stopping him or, or losing his shorts here? It's a race against time, Arnie. Still a minute to go here in the third. Plenty of time. If Joe Santarpia was smart right now, he'd call timeout and bring those shorts up. What goes down first, Cruz or Bopier's trunks? Oh, nice body shot now from Bopier taking Steve Farhood. Suggesting a big right on the top. And Cruz on the ropes, getting hurt, and Santarpia taking a really good look, and he's going to jump in and stop this fight. Good call. Willie Cruz starting to take a pounding. And it was the body shots by Beau Pierre finally that brought the hands down one more time, leaving that open, and just Willie Cruz helpless on the ropes. Maybe a short whistle there, Steve. I don't think so, Arn, because... Uh... When Cruz went against the ropes, he reacted the same way he did when he first got hurt. He just stood there. He didn't try to hold, he didn't punch back. His, his chin at the time of the stoppage, his chin was really exposed. All right, we're gonna take a look here, though, at how this got set up. Big right on the top of the head, followed by another right hand, and down, that was the knockdown earlier in the third, and you take a look at where those shorts were going there. <laughs> Nice right hand, straight punch, right to the chin. And the, the knockdown, the second knockdown. Well, we're going to take a look right now at the combination. And I believe he took your advice, Steve. He went to the body and then was able to come upstairs. Willie Cruz then helpless at this point on the ropes. And Joe Santarpi is going to jump in. Yeah, look There's at his the body chin's shot. exposed right there. All right, we're going to get the official time of the stoppage from our ring announcer, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. The winner by tactical knockout and still undefeated, Dorian Beaupierre. Beaupierre. All right, Dorian Beaupierre. He improves to 2-0. That's his second straight knockout. Willie Cruz back down under 500. He goes down to 3-4. and four.